Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and I'm a consultant in male infertility and sexual health. In this video, we are going to discuss about a very common problem we see in the clinical practice and it's called sperm leakage issue in the urine or semen leakage in the urine. Now, one of the commonest complaints that I hear from my patients who come to my clinical practice is, Dear Doctor, I, have, I find my sperm leaking in the urine and I feel very tired because of it. I am losing my erection. I feel my organ size has come down. I have lost my vitality and strength. And I feel my fertility has also gone down. Now, a large number of patients you know, present to the clinic with this particular problem of semen leakage in the urine or sperm leaking in the urine. And most of them feel a sense of exhaustion, fatigue, they feel a sense of uh, physical body pain and the inability to sustain their erection and they also feel that their fertility is lost. Now, for such patients, it's important to rule out a clinical condition called DART syndrome. It is pronounced as DART syndrome, D-H-A-T syndrome. So in patients who have DART syndrome, it's important to give them psychosexual counseling, behavioral therapy and medical therapy as well when indicated for the particular sperm leakage issue in the urine. Now, what are the commonest causes of you know, sperm leaking in the urine or semen leakage problem in the urine? Now, although sperm leakage in the urine or the semen leakage problem in the urine is closely associated with Dart syndrome, a proper cause or the commonest cause for a large proportion of men for sperm coming out in the urine is basically voiding urine after a session of masturbation or sexual intercourse. What happens is the urethra or the penile urethra is already coated with residual sperm or sperm to zoa or semen and when the patient voids urine after completing a session of intercourse or a masturbatory session he's, the semen, sperm or semen is bound to be mixed up with some amount of residual urine. So it's very very normal and it's also very very common. So this is something we have to ask the patient and you know kind of reassure them and tell them that it's normal to see sperm in the urine if you have had a session of masturbation or sexual intercourse rather than you know com coming to a conclusion that the patient may be suffering from some major pathology now there was a very very interesting study done on over 5005 uh, men in in, in 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 tokyo and in that particular in that particular paper what they found was the instance of sperm detected in the urine so what they did is for every individual in the study they assessed four urinary samples and what they found was, interestingly, about 5% of these men, uh, that's, uh, that, that's roughly around 300 to 400 men, about, among about, say, about 5,000 men, actually had sperm in the urinary sample, mixed with the urinary sample, when they put the sample through a conventional urine element analysis. And what they found, interestingly, was three clinical conditions or three, or three conditions with which, or three particular situations where sperm is commonly seen in the urine. So, the first condition that was interestingly observed to you know associated associate with you know sperm leakage problem in urine was diabetes mellitus, and it makes sense because in patients who are particularly diabetic, what basically happens is uh, uh, the internal urinary sphincter becomes weak. You know, so the bladder has a structure called the internal urinary sphincter that closes at the time of ejaculation. If that structure particularly becomes weak. The semen or sperm instead of coming forward goes into the urinary bladder, mixes with the urine and comes out. And uh, we'll be going through the anatomy of that shortly. So in, in this particular, in patients who are diabetes, who are diabetic or who are diagnosed with type 2 or diabetes mellitus, it's very common to see a sperm leakage in the urine. Well, the second condition where they associated, where, which was associated with sperm leakage or semen leakage problem in the urine was patients who had cholesterol and dyslipidemia. And this is not surprising because in patients who develop cholesterol issues or dyslipid who, who develop this condition called dyslipidemia, what basically happens is they become at risk for developing diabetes mellitus. So, so we really don't know the exact mechanism as to why this leads to sperm leakage issue in the urine, but we do know that they are closely associated. Now a third particular condition, rather than condition I should say, the use of certain medications maybe, has been associated with sperm leakage issues and uh, well-documented sperm leakage issues in the urine. So especially certain medications, a certain class of medications called antidepressants, which are basically selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors have been found to cause, uh, you know, sperm leakage or semen leakage in the urine. And also certain drugs that are used to treat lower urinary tract symptoms, especially a drug uh, like, you know, uh, tamsulosin and certain other medications that are given to, you know, patients who have difficulty in avoiding urine have also been found to cause some degree of sperm leakage issue in the urine. 
so these are so this interestingly this particular paper you know had uh, had also you know suggested over uh, 11 to 12 other conditions that uh, you know could be associated with a sperm leakage problem in the urine although apart from these three conditions the use of certain medications diabetes mellitus and cholesterol all the other conditions were non significantly associated with sperm leakage issues in the urine sample now we have discussed about what causes sperm leakage in the urine we have discussed about what's the common causes of sperm leakage in the urine we have also discussed about certain conditions that could be associated with a sperm leakage problem in the urine now clinically when we see when we see patients who come to the who come for an evaluation what we try to rule out is a particular condition called retrograde ejaculation yes so retrograde ejaculation is the condition where sperm definitely definitely mixes with the urine and retrograde ejaculation is a severe cause of male fertility problems and the commonest cause interestingly for retrograde ejaculation is diabetes mellitus again as we have discussed earlier uh, it could be a surgery a past surgery that has been done on the particular on the prostate for bph so, you know some patients have benign prostate hyperplasia where the prostate becomes enlarged they have a surgery for it they do a procedure called transurethral resection of the prostate and what happens is this sometimes during the procedure the the sphincter that is the internal urinary sphincter becomes loose and what happens is the sperms you know sometimes get go backward instead of coming forward in this particular condition as well a sperm leakage in the urine is seen and as we had already discussed use of certain medications or there are certain medications like antidepressants and drugs that are used to treat voiding symptoms also lead to sperm leakage problem in the urine now with patients with retrograde ejaculation we do something called uh, we do a procedure called sperm retrieval from the bladder to conclusively assess whether the patient is actually you know uh, uh, whether the patient is actually or genuinely suffering from retrograde ejaculation and to find out whether sperms are actually mixing in the urine or not now uh, what's also very interesting is and this is an import, important point to know because now if you look at the photo on the right now if you look at the screen on the if you look at the image that i've shown on the right uh you see you see i have highlighted the three structures which are you know with a pink underline and a small house you know that so the sperm is usually produced in the testes and stored there the house usually marks the storage site of the sperm forgive me for the cartoonish uh, explanation but sperms are usually stored in the testes and the structure called epidermis that has also been highlighted in the photo and also in the structure called as the vas for some individuals what basically happens is sperm production is really excessive and we, we although we really do not have much data on that we know that the average man produces about 2500 sperms per minute so if per minute if 2500 sperms are produced the man the average human being can only store sperms anywhere between 5 days to a 7 day period so what happens is the sperms are actually stored in the site of production that is the testis in the structure above the testis which is called the epidermis and also the long tube like structure called as the vas So sometimes what happens when the storage is very high accidentally the patient may have what's called as a night fall so when 5 days the patient has not done masturbation has not had sexual intercourse patients experience this condition called night fall where you know automatic ejaculation happens and the patient what what normally happens is that after the night fall the patient may go to void urine the next day and interestingly or surprisingly he may find the urine to be cloudy and may think that he has is losing sperm or is losing semen in the urine so patients with excessive night fall issues also you know kind of come come to the clinic with a complaint of you know his sperm or semen leaking in the urine and this also causes a lot of distress for a lot of patients but it's not surprising because this is more of a physiological event and all a large proportion of men actually go through this particular problem so counseling the patient giving the right behavioral therapy and medications if required only only if there is retro only if a patient has genuine retrograde ejaculation medications are usually indicated so only then we can you know uh, properly help the patient you know overcome this particular issue of sperm leakage in the urine so uh, if you also look at the photo there's one more structure that i have highlighted on the top and that's the internal urinary sphincter now the internal urinary sphincter normally what happens in patients who are you know diabetic what happens that particular structure gets weakened so for those patients the overall then that structure that structure normally has to close at the time of ejaculation if that particular internal urinary sphincter does not close what happens is the sperm instead of coming out of the penile urethra will go back into the urinary bladder mixed with the urine and come out 
So in patients who are particularly diabetic or patients who have had prostate surgeries, what basically happens is that structure is usually weak and there is a genuine issue of sperm leakage in the urine. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, do, do share, comment, like, subscribe and uh, if you have any doubts, please post your questions below in the comment section. I will be happy to answer and help you through the problem. Do share this video with all your friends and loved ones and I look forward to seeing you soon again. Manakam Namaste and thank you very much for watching the video. Good day.